The 10-Minute Drill. This is a big one. It's brought to you by All Pro Roofing. AllProRoofingLLC.com on 1010XL. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hit it. All right. Okay. Sports concepts and rationalizations coming your way. We call it the 10-Minute Drill. We do it each and every day. At the end of the drill, Beef, do we have a prize pack to give out? How we do, Dan? We're going to hook the Googans up, one lucky Googan up, with a $25 gift certificate to Famous Automotive and Quick Automotive at Quick Lube. Easy for me to say. They can use that towards an oil change or any other service. I know it's hard. It is. For you Jag fans, not some of you. And it is for me, too. But today is today we can't do this, Okay. Today, we can't do this. Today, we're just giving accolades. There's not accolades, comma, butts. I know it's hard. No, we can comma, butt it up tomorrow. Tomorrow, we'll comma, butt it, okay? We got lots of comma, butts to do. If you saw Twitter timeline yesterday, I said a lot of crap involved, but it's a win. There's comma, butts a plenty. We got plenty of comma, butts, but let's get to the comma, butts tomorrow. Today, let's just put on our victory hats Right. Smile a little bit bigger. Right. Do something nice for somebody. Enjoy a W. Enjoy the glorious weather. And be happy that we're in Jacksonville FLA. Right. Today is Jags win. Let's walk proud. Let's walk tall today. Everyone drink. Let's be. Let's let them all be mere mortals. Today we walk like men. I don't know what I'm saying. I just. But. No comma butts. I was looking at the text line. There's a couple comma butts in there, and I get it. I there's plenty of comma butts. But guys, it's been 399 days. 399. Let's drink in day 400. Let's drink in day 400. Then we'll comma butt tomorrow. Mm. Enjoy it. This I is, promise. This is like this is the point of sports fandom is yeah. to enjoy yeah. the moments yeah. that don't stink because most yes. of the moments stink. Oh, they stink. Trust, I mean, trust me from a guy who knows. It's been stinky for me for a long time this year. There's only 32 teams. Only one of them's going to win. The other 31 are losers every year. Yeah. So, so <laughs> comma butts tomorrow. Today, we walk tall. We walk like champions. We walk like kings of the world. We walk like masters of the universe. This is our world, and you live in it. This is Jacksonville, home of the winning Jaguars. <laughs> it's Victory Monday. But no, 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 buts. I will not allow comma butts today, friends. I love you all, but no comma butts today. Today we celebrate. It's a no butts Monday. No butts. I see you guys. I see you on Twitter. I see what's happening. I'm not going to allow it, and I'm not going to let you get down. I like the guy who said, um, I like the guy who said the hospitals in Duval are going to be busy in nine months after that epic win yesterday. That's good. Not possible. I like that. People were feeling frisky. There's a lot of champagne going around yesterday, Dan. Yeah. Here it is. Very happy with the win, and luckily, Chenault made the catch. Comma, but. No, 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 no. I'm not going to read it. No, 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 no. I'll read it tomorrow, but I'm not going to read it today. No comma, buts. No comma, buts. Sit on your comma butts. I like this one. When that kick was good to win the game, I had tears of joy fill my eyes. It's been way too long since our last win. That's right. Tears of joy filling my man's eyes. How about that, ladies and gentlemen? That's what I'm talking about. Comma butts. My man today is wearing his victory tie to work today. He took a picture and sent it in. His Jaguar logo on his tie. He's proud today. He's got no comma butts. As he should be. Let those other, let those other mere mortals amongst you, friend, say, yeah, but. And you tell them, W. Right. You put that little West Side logo up and stick it on your forehead. Can't tell me nothing today. W. I had a W. So anyway, I just... I just can't I can't allow the comma butts today. Not today, man. Is that okay? No, I'm with you 100%. Okay. All right. We can comma butt tomorrow, I promise. There's a lot. Sit on your comma butts. Yeah, I comma butt. I comma butt. I don't want to, I'm going to slap myself if I comma butt again. I'm not going to comma butt. But every time you think about comma butt, crack one open. Yeah. A victory. Celebrate. A victory crack. Crack it open. Guzzle it down. Drink the win. 
Thank you. Our one-to-one financial poll question of the day, best thing you saw in the Jaguars W? Was it the defense stopping the run? Was it a new kicker coming through? Was it Trevor 300-plus yards? Was it the euphoria of a W? Sweet ecstasy. It's sweet ecstasy. It's the 41.8%, almost 800 votes, say the euphoria of a W. There's no comma buts here. 364 say the new kicker. Trevor at only 19% because it's expected now. <laughs> and the defense stopping the run, uh, 2.8%. All right, some other news and notes from around the sports world as we continue our euphoric victory Monday. Um, if you missed it last night, the Atlanta Braves have taken a 2 nothing lead on the L.A. Dodgers, winning both games in Atlanta, both in walk-off fashion. Um, and the Dodgers are kind of reeling. And this is going to be interesting. I mean, you don't win 106 games and then disperse a red-hot Cardinal team and then knock off the – Giants team. I mean, the, they the look the best team in the league. Yeah, and now you're down 0-2 out of the blue. Whoa. Yeah, they're up against it. But like you said, they're going back home for three. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and reverse mush this the best I can and say go Braves. I don't know what else to do. I've tried everything. I don't even like to watch it. So to all my Braves friends out there, go Braves. Maybe that. If somehow the only the only thing left for me in this baseball season is if somehow. Braves fans would blame me for the loss. Sometimes Jags fans get mad at me on Twitter when I start saying, like, I mush them, you know? Don't mush us, Dan. Don't jinx us, Dan. I'm not jinxing us. I didn't jinx us yesterday. You didn't give me credit, though, when I didn't jinx you, but nonetheless, that's okay. So that's all I can do at this point. It's a couple impressive wins, though, for Atlanta, and they are two wins away from the World Series. Two wins away. And I had to listen all year to somebody, some... Noted Braves fan just clobber this team and then tell everybody, oh, yeah, but deep down on, on if, you, if you really know me, you know I was just doing that for an act. Okay, sure you were. That is what he said. Yeah. I don't, you, you choose not to believe him, right? I don't you choose don't not him? to believe him. I don't believe him because he's lying. <laughs> she just wear it and learn his lesson. Uh, uh, he doesn't know his ball club like he thinks he does. I know my ball club. When I go into the kitchen and grab a fork and stick it in him, I know what I'm doing. Okay? Been, he buried him. You been him. here before? He buried him. He buried him. Oh, no, I was just doing it for her. <laughs> nah, it's all good. It's all good. And well, he they, did, yeah, he did dub it. Uh, what did he call it? He had a name for it. I don't know. He called it something. No one knows. Nobody really knows. Uh, oh, reverse mush. That's what he said. Yeah, whatever. Let me release an official statement right now for yeah. those that are uninitiated and they can't see through the special ops. Uh-huh. Call it tough love. Yeah. Call it negative reinforcement. Yeah. I personally yeah. call yeah. it the reverse mush. Yeah, go ahead. It was kill a savvy that. Kill that. veteran, Stop. brave, yeah. unless, expert, unless you reverse got, jinx. Unless you, got, unless you got the real Jeff speaking and save those clips that I had to listen to. <laughs> For I don't know a hundred days earlier, early as year. they would win, lose, win, lose, win, lose. Am I right? Yes. Were they not? I mean, how, they were five hundred until when? Five hundred ball club, man. I'll tell you exactly when they were. They were five hundred. They were fifty. One hundred twelve games in. Um. Yeah, that's where it was. 112 games in. 112 games in, they were 56 and 56 with 50 to go. And then they started playing good baseball. And they started playing good baseball primarily because they got Washington and Miami and Baltimore in a row. <laughs> Are you saying like this in May, Dan? I swear to God. 100%. He's swearing to the W-N-W. Good Lord. W-N-W. Will not yeah. watch. Oh, no. Not a minute. No. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure I believe that. that. I, yeah, lips right. to ears. Yeah. <laughs> I will not put it on the game. Yeah. Thank you. That's a reverse bush. That was an act. <laughs> but anyway, we, we digress. Um, Eddie O is out at LSU. Let me mention that real quick. I, I Listen, I've got a bunch of LSU friends, but this is disgraceful. 
And it's not disgraceful that you're firing them. It's disgraceful because you know and I know the only reason you're firing them is because you're losing, and now you're trying to put it on the fact that, well, Eddie O, Eddie O's running around with the women, and Eddie O's bringing his girlfriends to practice, and Eddie O wants the $17 million, and Eddie O goes behind the – we go behind the scenes of Red – I mean, LSU, I mean, you got, you got the biggest – outlaw in in the country coaching your college basketball team who somehow and I don't know how has managed to keep his job and he's the dirtiest coach there is the dirtiest and again if you heard me earlier I slaughtered my football team so this isn't like me whining about LSU beating Florida congratulations our guys suck sorry Junie bug but I mean It just doesn't – Eddie O is getting fired because he's losing. That's the only reason why. I mean, they would have slid all this nonsense or all this stuff, and there's a lot of stuff going on inside that program, and a lot of, you know, they're dealing with a lot of different things, okay? And and, and yet, the only reason why Eddie O is getting canned is because he ain't winning. That's all I'm saying. So, anyway. I had a Guggen call and ask if you'd want Dan Mullen to – Bring Eddie Owen as a defensive coordinator to not help as a, with recruiting. Not as a coordinator, but as a D-line coach to help with recruiting? Heck yes, I would. <laughs> Go Tigers. Yeah, heck yes, I would. But Eddie O is going to build himself a big old house on the bayou. He's going to He's going to run around like crazy, and he's going he's gonna to have a, a low country boil each and every night is what I he's going to do. I, I would not be surprised if Eddie Orgeron never coaches another snap of football again. Yeah, I don't. Who knows? If he's done. Yeah. You know? Why would he? Because he's, he's, he's a legend there. Yeah. He got the natty. I mean, Eddie O. He's rich. Eddie O. <laughs> Eddie O's just not a head coach, man. I mean, I don't know why it takes – listen, he stepped into it. He got the right combination of people around him. He got Joe Burrow. He got Brady uh, to call the plays, and he had a ton of talent because he can recruit. Okay. But man, oh man, there's a, uh, as far as the day to day operation, it is not a pretty sight, man, of what's going on in Louisiana. So we've heard. But, but my point is, all of that they would they could care less about. Um, uh, they're under investigation by the NCAA for an assortment of violations. Uh, they fired their offensive line coach over his providing improper benefits to a recruit during the dead period. Um, yeah, it's just one thing after another. The 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 sissy blue comment to UCLA. The just it's a, they pile up, but whatever. It is what it is. Look, the AD there likes to make splash hires, and I wouldn't be surprised. I, I guess Jimbo's not coming, but the the names on the list are be impressive, and we'll see what happens with LSU going forward. But it's also weird. And and the, look, the reason why the, the the biggest fear LSU had, they wanted him out so bad. They, they had to announce this because they were afraid he's going to win four or five in a row. If he wins four or five in a row, then they, it's going to look real bad when they fire him. So so they put it out now, and they, they play for coach, whatever. And But, you know, the, just the stories coming out of Baton Rouge are thick, thick and rich. So, anyway, uh, that's what's uh, going on in the world of sports. A lot more to do. It's a Jaguar victory Monday. No comma butts. No comma Big Bo coming up top of the hour. Much more ahead on the program. Uh, we'll keep it rolling right here. Beef, let's do caller number two let's right now. 641-1010. Tell them what they're going to win. Call number two right now, Dan, at 641-1010. is going to go home with a $25 gift certificate from Famous Automotive and Quick Lube. They can use that towards an oil change or any other service. Just be caller two right now. 641-1010.